Hey everybody, I have a new product today. Um, this is the Derwent Ink Tint Watercolor Set. I had originally had the, the 12 Ink Tints and I bought these when I was really into art journaling, which I still do, but um, I bought these for my art journaling and I started using them in my coloring books. And so I love them so much and they were so vibrant. That's the original ones that I, that I, um, I said, forget it. I'm going to give those to my sister. She, um, will love them because I'm going to buy me the big set. So I bought the biggest set that I could get at the time. And I just got these in and I love them. Um, they're just beautiful. All the colors are so pretty. And um, they just blend so well. They go down, you know, like butter. Come on. My only issue with this is my, mine must have, mine's wonky because it won't stay down flat. It's, it's just, I don't know if you, you can't really see it, but I gotta keep the, I don't know how to describe. It. It's just not right. But anyway, it's <laughs> enough about the case. Here are the 36 colors minus the white because, you know, you really can't get the white to show up on this type of uh, page. But um, they are so vibrant. Let me raise it up a little bit. They're so vibrant, so pretty. On this side is where what it looks like just with a regular pencil. And then, of course, on the right is where I added the water for the watercolor effect. They blend really well. They have some really nice colors. I have really been enjoying using them. They do have the names on them. And they have an outliner, which I'm not quite sure. I haven't played around with that yet. Um, I'll have to get some more information on that because I really haven't played with that yet. But um, I really, really enjoy these colors, y'all. I wanted to show y'all how nicely they blended. So I'm going to do like I always try to do and do like my little blendy rainbow technique here. So I'll get my yellow. And we'll make a big swatch of yellow. Okay. And then we'll do a blue. This blue is good. We'll do the blue. What's good about these is it's ink. So when you put the water down and it dries, that layer dries, you can go back over it with another color. And it's not going to reactivate because it is ink. So you can just layer and layer away. And then I'm going to get my red and go over on this side. And then I'll go over on the blue. Okay. Let me make that yellow just as big as the other one. Okay. Now, I'm going to get my watercolor pencils. I like these from Kiritake. I just like the way they work. Squeeze a little out. And let's start with the red. Red. And then we can go right into the orange. The orange here, the yellow, and let me see. I'm, I'm over here um, squeezing at my pencil, y'all. That's what I'm doing. And then I'll get some more in the yellow here by itself. And then I'm going to mix the blue and the yellow here. it off. I got the 
blue by itself. See how easily the colors just start flowing? And then we've got the blue with the red. Our purple here. And then clean off our brush. But on the end, we got the red again. They flow really well. They just are so vibrant, very beautiful. Highly recommend these colors. Um, so yeah, I like to test them out, do a swatch, and then I do that rainbow blending thing here to see how the colors go into each other. Really nice. I like them. Go check them out. If you like them, they're not super, super, super expensive. And like I said, uh, you can start off with a set of 12 very inexpensive and you get these colors oops you get these colors in the set of 12 and then if you add the 36 you get these plus these so you'll have the whole range okay all right if you have any questions or comments about the video or the product just let me know and i'll try to answer them if i can and um if you haven't hit that sub please hit the sub for me i would really appreciate it um i also would appreciate a, a thumbs up Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.